Hey guys, it's Kirsten. It's New Year's Day and I haven't even finished my coffee yet, but I just watched a tutorial on YouTube and I thought I would share with you. Um, so first of all, I just want to show you this uh, senior that I did who you can see my CR2, my straight out of camera is on the left and my final edit is on the right. It looks like I'm just looking at it real quick, aside from just maybe, you know, vibrance a little bit or contrast a little bit. I took a piece of hair across her forehead and maybe ran portraiture and boost bumped the contrast in her eyes. But you can see it's pretty much straight out of camera. She's like pretty flawless, but check this out. Okay, so this is just my converted to JPEG image. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom up so it's pretty much skin, right? There's no, no skin showing below the shoulder, none above the forehead. So I'm gonna zoom up pretty close so you can see this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to your adjustment panel. And you know that if it's not showing, this is what tells you what's showing. So you can go to adjustments right here and then it'll go up here. So I have actions, adjustments, and then properties of those adjustments um, right up here. And then I have my layers palette down here. If there's something open that you don't want, you can just right click and hit close. It doesn't go away forever, it just closes until you go back to the window and then hit open. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I start background, clean, ready to go. Go up here and do a curves layer. Now, you're gonna bump this up pretty bright like this. Now you're going to two, do two things. You're going to double click on the word curves down here and you're going to write highlight. Um, and then click on the layered mask and do control I, which in, or command I for on a Mac and it reverse, reverses, inverts it. So it hides it, right? Now click on the background, go back to adjustments. We're going to do another curves layer. This time just pull it a little darker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, um, I'll call it shade or shadow. And then double, I mean, sorry, click on the mask and then inverse that, invert, inverse, whatever. Anyway, hide it. Um, so now the, the highlight and the low lights or the shadows are hidden. Okay, let's do highlights first. So click on the layer mask and make sure you get a white brush because that will reveal what we're doing here and then have properties showing up here. So let's make the brush kind of small. You don't need to go crazy. And we're gonna follow the normal highlights as if we were contouring, as if we were contouring her face with makeup, which FYI, I've never done in my whole life. <laughs> Those that know me. So we got some highlights up in here. There's always a little highlight on the upper lip. Follow the highlight of the chin. You don't need to go crazy, but I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna get a little highlight under here. Highlight down in here. All right, I think that's good for now. There's a little highlight over here. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that. Now in the properties panel under feathering, you're gonna just bring it up a little bit. If your computer's a little slow, it might have to catch up. But you're gonna just bump it a little more. more. Okay. So let's see, let's do, so 90, 93 looks good. Now you're going to click on the eyeball. So it reveals and hides, reveals and hides. So I'll be honest, this is how I posted it to Facebook and the digital image that I gave the senior for the yearbook. Now that I'm looking at, now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, whoa, it's like next level, right? Okay, I'm just gonna get that one little piece. Okay, 
However, we haven't done with the shadowing yet. So click on the layer mask for the shadow, white brush, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna kind of accentuate her cheekbones, which are flawless, so like whatever. Um, Oh my gosh, my dog is ringing his pee-pee bell. Uh, it's whenever I sit down, I swear. Okay, so um, I might just do a little bit where her eye makeup is. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing with feathering. Now we can go a little bit more aggressive because we already we know what to expect, kind of. So maybe we'll go, let's try 56. It just kind of lands where it lands. I don't, all right, now let's let's look at her cheeks. Okay, I love it on her cheeks. I don't love it on her eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna inverse, invert the brush to, from white to black. So hit X. Let's big that. And we're just gonna paint it off the eyeshadow because I, I don't want it for attention brought to the eyeshadow. All right, so let me just look. Just look at her cheeks again. Okay, I do love what it has done with her cheeks. So I'm gonna go back to white. And I'm just gonna kind of accentuate a couple more brush strokes. Then I feel like I need to bump up the feathering. Let's try 70. Okay, I'm also gonna try lowering the opacity up here and we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna try a swipe. I haven't practiced before going live. I'm just like winging it here. So I might like it, I might hate it. I don't know, we'll find out. Let's look at her eyebrows. Oh, you can barely tell, a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, hit control and highlight the, sh the highlights and the shading and then click on layer and group layers, okay? Because now I can control the eyeball with one click instead of two clicks. So now we're gonna just look at it all together. But I mean, even like her chest, it's just how it's all contoured. But look at her face before, after. That's like, I thought it was flawless before, but now it's just absolutely Gorgeous. So right on. I just thought I'd share that.